Hello you juicy booty McFruit bag. Well, I, I'm going to be honest, it's two o'clock. But we've gotten the third part of the Needle Mat series posted. That was the paid promo with Anchor. And then right now, um, I thought about planning out the next two parts. Then I was like, can I be bothered? And honestly, <laughs> no, I can't be bothered. But I've been going down this, I'm still undecided as to how we do the thumbnails for these videos. Mm, but I know a few things. Overall, like in just whole life, I know a few things. But like in this case, I know a few things that I need to make every thumbnail similar to each other in terms of just the general layout. Like users, the, the average viewer probably won't even notice. But someone who looks at them closely might be like, nah, see what's going on there. And by that, I mean is um, same style of text and general placement of text. Background, one main focus of the video that I'll be looking at and my face, which is, you know, as what it, we've got to work with what we've got but we're looking at facial expressions, okay? So I'm reshooting for the, the first part of the needle mat and I, I feel like um, I've got the room sorted, which is like a nice padded room, an asylum if you, if you will. And then for this part, I'm gonna be using, I'm just gonna hold up the needle mat with my top off, cause I'm quite the hunky junkie. Uh, and then I'll just like, throw that into the thumbnail, okay? All right, let's get this one up. I was also looking this morning as well. I've told you that I kind of like this camera. It's the Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1, but the Mark II, so the second edition of it, actually seems a lot better because um, it's got a much wider lens. So this one is just super annoying. It's just not wide enough. Okay, let's get undressed. Doing. So then I set a timer up, shall we? You can't, you don't because that is not a photo shooting mode. Really, why can't I? Yeah, so every five seconds it'll take a photo. So if I'm like, She knows. Cross-eyed, that'll do. Let's have a, let's put my top on. Let's have a butcher's then. A butcher's is a butcher's. Butcher's hook, which is, let's have a look. That's some really huge Cockney rhyming slang for you. I don't really know much about Cockney rhyming slang. All right, what do you guys think about saying racial lyrics <laughs> that are in a rap song? So like N-word, for example or the C word, like something you might dip in soup. I was going to say it, but I don't know if... My opinion is that if you're rapping the lyrics of a song, 
and you say the word that is in the song, I don't see how that's racist. Like, to me, racism is all about the intent behind what you're doing or saying. And if you're just copying the lyrics, I don't see how that's racist. I tell you what, this is something that's really funny about stock photos. Like, I know, I know I should be paying for them. Okay, I'll show you right, this is the original photo, okay? Oh yeah, this is the original photo. So you've got something down at the bottom and on the right side, and I need it to be bigger. So I've done all sorts of generative fills to make it bigger. <laughs> wow, Oliver, that's very genius. Thank you. Uh, remove background. That's no bueno, because it's lost loads of the background. All right, so then we'll do it ourselves manually. We'll select all of you, you hunky monkey. Get in here, get the hand. I should probably make this a bit bigger, shouldn't I? All right, so what I, I still don't want to be spending much time on thumbnails, but I do. I really think I need to be investing more time on thumbnails. And I just have to find the right place for me to be able to do that in terms of how much time do I want to spend? What does the right type of thumbnail look like that gets what I would like, but doesn't take up too much time? Not bruv, that is going to do. Not very good around the edges, but. Of course. And I think I'm going to need to, I just went to do a touch screen. I think I need to do a fill, which is kind of annoying. I'm not sure how much I even like that photo. I gotta clean up the edges. Like this is this is what I'm talking about here is that you can take the photo, but then there's always more that can be done. But at the same time, you're like, you've already done so much work, why wouldn't you do the bit extra? Let's do fill, generate. Let's see what that brings out. Oh yeah, um, I think I mentioned, so last night, yeah, so views, views dropped off for a while and now they seem to be back. And it's hard to know if it's the content or if it's the platform that just goes through changes. But the Airport Healy's videos has been ticking up. That's at 591,000. The gum flavor, so the first part that starts off really slowly, I think that I kind of tapped out at 60K and then it shot up and now it's at 370. Excuse me, the second part to that is at 315. I think it was uploaded like five days later. And I have noticed the company have been putting a little bit of ad spend behind that since it was a paid post, but not, I don't think that much, maybe like 100K views or something. All right, then the first needle mat is currently at 230,000. And the one I posted last night, that's about 745 ish is at 320,000 views. And then the paid one we posted this morning, not this morning, posted an hour ago is at almost 6K. So they're slowly coming along. All right, so this, 
photo. I'm going to go to, I can, is it camera raw? Yes. Oh, no, cancel. So if I right click, can I do that? Can I group them and then send those both to So actually I need to edit that first before I do any of the generative fill. And hopefully that should do the fill like with the colors. So basic, a bit of exposure, reduce the contrast, highlight shadows, yeah, I don't know. More texture, more clarity, more texture. Vibrance, yeah, mate, we love some vibrance. And some saturation, some detail. Yeah, we like that a lot, don't we? Color mixer, let's get the... the saturation of these colors. And the luminance. And I want to increase the whites and drown out the uh, color, so saturation. Yeah. I'll add another brush. And we'll do this eye. An eye for an eye. Eyes look terrible. Okay, done. And then let's add in some text. Whoops, T, and the text should be I'm not going to lie, I'm going to see what Trahan does. I think the, um, the, the very interesting thing is you could copy, a, let's say, a Ryan Trahan thumbnail one-to-one. Um, -one but you wouldn't get the same number of views. Not just because the video would be different, but because it's his face that people are clicking on. Um, let's do 17 minutes. Should we put a period? Yeah. I'm feeling a period. Not, not what I was going for. What are you doing, you silly muggo? Seven minutes. Oh, 17 minutes. Should we, let's add a quick bit of, let's give that a stroke, shall we? And change the font from Chewy to Helvetica. Or like Times New Roman. Do you not have this? I, d I guess I don't really care. That stroke's a bit thick in my opinion. I knew I stroked it too hard. Like that, I think, is a much better thumbnail than what we have. So let's see, shall we? Let's... Hello, doodah. See how it does. Because that thumbnail, oh, it's embarrassing. <laughs> She's just moved from the chair. You right, doodah? 
get me in. Gosh, goodness sake. It, the lens is so wide that when I go over this way, like that's as far as I can go before the screen is out of view. So I should really start doing it this way, shouldn't I? Yeah, well, I'm glad we've, I'm glad we figured that out. Well done, Oliver. But then the question is, how do I change that for tomorrow? Do I just take out the needle mat? Just put my back in there and then maybe the needle mat. I take a photo of that so that it's on the ground. I feel like I need to be closer in that shot. And I need to edit myself so that I look freaking sexy AF. A bit more exposure, yeah, okay, contrast, get that up. I was watching this video this morning, I guess I can talk while I'm doing this. And it was um, Andrew Schultz and some other dude. And they were talking about how um, You should, you are, you will go as far as your dreams, I think was the basic term. Which is if you're not dreaming big, you're not going to get anywhere big. And I, I kind of goes in line with what like I've been saying here. Like I, I, I don't want to um, have, I don't want my job to consume all my time. Like I love doing it, it's a hobby. But I'm also doing it to make money to go and spend time with family. No, I'm not ready and I don't think I want to be at a point where I'm including Rugi and Shay in these videos just for content. <laughs> it sounds so stupid to say, but like let's say in the future, uh, I get fairly famous or people recognize me. Not something that I'm really going for, but I know it's gonna, it's, if I get there, it's gonna come. I don't want my child to have to deal with what comes with that when they didn't choose to do that. Like they didn't choose to take that route. So for me, yeah, like at this point, no one's going to look at his face and recognize him in 17 years. But as he, you know, goes, gets older, I'll want to keep his face out of it. That looks kind of like hideous in that, don't I? I think masking on the face. Is going to take out some of that detail. Uh, sharpness, bring that, oh goodness, noise reduction on, I think I'll do that on my arms as well actually. Just doesn't look right in IMO. Yeah, let's go with that. Now, my problem with this photo is that there's definitely the question of, well, what the hell is he like, why is he in that state? So I think I need to give the viewer some reason as to why I'm in that state. Like, should the bed be in there? No, that looks like absolute saggy boob. Seventeen minutes. What about caffeine? Yeah. Does the I feel like the needle mat needs to be in there? Excuse me. I don't know how to get the flipping angle 
What's the angle there? Should we try it? Okay, yes, let's try it. Good, cool, Oliver. All right, in my head, I'm currently trying to figure out how I get that angle right, is it? It's kind of a, it's not high off the ground, is it? How high is it? Oh, I don't bloody know. You know, I was expecting more people to comment on the Shrek Crocs in the last video. Really not much. Oh, sorry, Duda. Sorry, Duda, you princess. Oh, shit on it. Let's get that lighter. Okay. Let's see how that looks, shall we? Oh, by the way, the um, the uh, I mentioned, I think two days ago on Monday, that one of the brands were looking to do a, a hot air balloon thing for the over the weekend and have me come out and make a video or two with them. That fell through, so now I won't be doing that, which you know is a bit of a bummer. About to send the wife out on a bit of a shopping spree, you know, so I get some peace and quiet. I'm just kidding. Um, I I don't know. I don't know why I make those jokes. Again, I don't really find them funny. They're not funny. Um, and that's really that. Oh, look, it kept the dog in here. Still getting rid of the doggo. Damn, that's done a really bad job, hasn't it? Fine. I'll do it myself. I know what you're thinking. I know you're just like, wow. Oliver is just really good at movie quotes. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to top up, touch up around these edges annoyingly. Oh, you bumder. Absolute bumder. Nope, okay. Select you and then I'm just gonna brush along the edges. Not what I'm looking for. There's too much flipping spray. Hardness, 100%. Yeah, that'll do. And then we'll get a little bit of drop shadow on this, I think. Maybe I'll extend it out. But first, camera roll filter. Let's get the saturation of this oh, cranked, bro. The luminance also cranked. Exposure. Not ideal. Oh, wait. Vibrance. Texture, get that up there. Vibrant saturation, always good to have. Okay, let's add a drop shadow right now. The drop shadow is gonna be coming, not that way, the other way. I don't know why I have this on multiply. I must've been watching a tutorial a while back.
Like, see, why is the shadow above it? Das no bueno. All right, let's get it into position then. T, okay, we're gonna rotato a bit so it's in line with the wall. And then, well, I think generative fill. No, I need to be over a bit. Good boy. And then here, yeah, I think. Generative fill, generate. We fill up that area. Okay, good thing is I'm seeing people starting to comment about things I put in the video like shotgunning the wrong way. What is this, bro? Today is way off for me. I don't know why. I think part of it was I spent, uh, you know, I was talking about how I would make the YouTube video, so I cut that up in the morning and then another time I'd come back and like cut up the clips that I want to export to then put up on you know, clips pages. But this time I decided that I would make the clips at the same time. So I did do that. And it took me a little bit longer, obviously. Ended up being a, an hour and a half long video and took me about an hour and a half to edit. It's also only a matter of time. It's also only a matter of time before I say something, forgetting the camera's on, and then don't find it in the edit, and I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, that's quite nice. You know, it's... I have a problem with constantly checking analytics on social media, just numbers, metrics. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I check it 50 to 100 times a day. And I need to not, because it's just, it's not good for you to be checking that, is it? It's just not good for you. And especially with like this YouTube channel, I'm playing the long game here. If people enjoy it, they enjoy it. If not, that's cool. And so, but, you know, filming all day, five days a week, and then editing it only for like, you know, one to three views, if any, it's kind of like, ew. But I need to, like, every time I see that, I have to keep telling myself, that's not why you're doing this. All right, the screen recording of me editing the third, I don't know, third bit. <laughs> Exposure up, contrast uh, up maybe. Uh, clarity up, tech. clarity up, vibrance, yeah, buddy. Saturation, get that bad boy in there. Color mixer, we are going for the saturation of the blue. Get that very saturated noise. And there, and I think, effects. Why would I have gone down to there? My face definitely needs smoothing out. So let's do a object. So let's go here and texture, less clarity. I'm going to bring up the shadows because my hair is really dark. 
a bit more saturation in the face. Nah, it's kind of vile, isn't it? Let's change the temperature. You look very orange, Oliver. All right, let's see how that looks. What? What happened there? Oh. Select the subject manually because it's been trashed the last few times. Dude, I was up with Ruga last night, so Shay went to her thing in the evening, and I was looking after Ruga. It took me, like, I'm not gonna say, I'm, a, I'm not a useless dad, right? Let's, let's get that in the way. He's just terrible at sleeping at the moment. It took me two hours to get him to sleep. And even then, the only way he would do it is if he came up to our bedroom. He's in that mood at the moment. Honestly, it's, it is actually really nice having him sleep in the bed with us. But I know it's not good. Like we have sleep tra trained him, then he got sick, and then we kind of wanted, like it's, it's really cute having him sleep with you, from our opinion. And he doesn't wake up in the night at the moment. He sleeps through the night in our bed. So it's really nice having him there. Yeah, I was hoping to put him down and just come downstairs and chill out for a little bit last night. Like just play some Fortnite or something. Actually, I should just be doing the clarity and stuff on the needle mat. Because that is what's making my hands look so bad, isn't it? All right, so we'll do basic adjustments overall. Saturation definitely needs to go up. Shadows a bit more. Okay, then let's go on to the masking. Objects. And here we're going to go with saturation is going to go way up crazy texture clarity clarity just makes it sharpness. Yeah, I'll do. And let's get a new mask. Radial gradient on me. You see what I mean with how much time this takes? Let's see how that looks. And then select subject. Like this is quite nice. When I know what I have planned, I can do like a, a bunch of these at one time. Like when I'm just making video day by day, just seeing what happens. It's a little, little bit more difficult. What up, dude? Are you chilling, baby? It's weird, isn't it, to call a dog baby? This should be for the previous video. I think this was number video 10. And then tomorrow's video, I should have the needle mat on the floor. And I should be wearing goggles. Let's get a shot of me wearing goggles. Because that's going to be the kaleidoscope. Pretty is going to be the word. What's it, what's it like another name for hallucinate? Someone... 
Hey Siri, what are synonyms for hallucinate? Hypnotize. Synonyms for hallucinate include have hallucinations, imagine things, and see things. God, I'm so loud. Pretty. No, let's do hypnotized. Hypnotize. Yeah? And then a shot of me with um, some crappy goggles on my face. If I just take a shot of me right now. And then generative AI goggles. Okay, let's go change this to change. Two ten da, da. Thumbnails too. Wonder how this is going to look with virtual reality goggles. So I also understand that what this is telling me is I need to start planning out my um, weeks of what I'm going to do so that I can make thumbnails all at one time. try it actually I'm quite interested to see if this works just with um, just AI let's get a shot of me here but well, I should do a side quest of just trying to get big shouldn't I like just follow eating the perfect foods the perfect type of workout and just see what happens all right, the goggles, it worked, but the problem is, is that um, I needed to turn my face and they look a bit fake on my face because there's no shadow. So I'm thinking that I, I don't know if you heard any of that, but I'm going to do it again, turn to the side and put on my goggles and see if that helps. Where are they? Here. Right in front of me. Hi, Judah. Oh. Sometimes I wonder if I even have a brain. Why would I have put those on over my face ready for the photo when I don't even have the camera set up? What is, what's going on? What is this? Like these, why am I looking up so high? What are you doing? Should we see what that one looks like? You know, I'm not crazy in love with it. Get you a bit bigger. And then maybe we put some, oops, whoopsie daisies. And then maybe from here we do photo realistic. High detail, virtual reality goggles. Should put futuristic in there. Futuristic. Kind of cool. Let's do some more. I shouldn't have done that until I'd edited the photo, should I? Okay, good job. Those kind of suck. All right, camera raw.
I'm not sure how much there really is I can do. Shadows, get those up. I might put a bit of a glow on underneath the goggles. Right, like maybe a bit of a glow under here. I think that would really add to it. I think I'm just going with that and then glass lens. I do two of those. No, let's make this a bit bigger maybe. Oh gosh. Glass lenses. It's 20 past three and it's so dark outside. Like, I guess this was a stupid thing to say because it's not like it's... Uh, <laughs> That's ridiculous. Glass lenses. Glass circles. Because it's just the it's overcast. I think that's one of the things that I really like about living here versus back home in England is that the weather is typically in England it's very often overcast and it's really gloomy, I feel. So being here is just it's normally bright it's not normally overcast and winters it looks like a summer day outside and you go outside and it's just like baltic cold and you wonder where your testicles have gone <laughs> whoops um okay this isn't working as i wanted it to i've just typed in screen for this one what if i do Hmm. Three small camera lenses. See what see what happens there. That'll do. That's what I'm looking for. And now how I think I'm just I'm gonna have to go with what a new layer. New layer brush that's like a glow. I don't know what I've just done there. That's too powdery, isn't it? And this is gonna go what the hell? Let's get the opacity way down and the hardness is going to go to nothing. Yeah, that didn't do anything, did it? See what that looks like with a glow. I, d I really don't know what the most of the discount. Like it's going to be way up. And then brush, switch it over. I'm going to erase. That's not it. Which one's a witch here? Oh, I'm so bad at this. 
yeah, like what the hell's going on there? I am deleting that. All right, let's start again, shall we? Okay, Oliver, what are you about to do? I am going to add white is what? And then black is take away. I once knew this. That's not doing what I was hoping. I feel like the easiest thing for me to do is just to make two layers. Duplicate that layer, sure. And then in between here, new layer is going to be a, I don't know what color is which. It's going to be a blue and it's not going to be as opaque. It's going to be up and around here. And then this is just going to be What the hell? What have I done? Okay, so then this layer is covering it. So I need to rub out some of this area, which is where my brush comes in. If I hide that one. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now we are heating up. I need to get one of those pens and a board. Kind of looks like a glow, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Inner glow, outer glow, outer glow almost took it away. Distance. Choke, yes, please. <laughs> Honestly, mate, that is going to do. I'm going to move the needle mat a bit. That's looking pretty ass down there. Darn it. You. Okay. Whatever you say, boss. Done. There we go, because that's me looking at the kaleidoscope thing. Save for web. That is going to be the thumbnail for today. So I guess I'm going to go back here. New 015 side. What is today? It was, I don't know, prep day. And it's 1018. It's that thumbnail. And then save this off. And then for the final day, I think this one I'll do like holding out here and have a disco ball. Yeah, then there'll be some colors over here. Okay, all right. So let's stop on this for now. That's cool, I enjoyed doing that. All right, I've got to work on a few concepts for some potential brands. Send those over to the manager, and then we will, I think we'll just do the rest of this tomorrow. I'm actually thinking about um, some challenges that I have going on in my own life. Good, good, you done. Um, and then just kind of doing those every day here. It's one of the drugs. One of the drugs I've been wanting to do for a while. Sucrosomial magnesium. 
So I should start that. Obviously, I'll make a TikTok out of it, but I should start doing that and see how it affects me. And I also got some NMN, which is like a age-defying drug from one of my friends owns a business out in Australia that makes it. Okay, all right. I think we're in a good place for today. It's been a bit of a weird video, isn't it? Sorry, it's just kind of like been me talking. Oh, good. Hasn't been a serious purpose to this video, to, yeah, today. Yeah, go home, tickle your feet, do what you need to do. See you tomorrow. Player. I'm sorry I said bye, but we're back again, because this, just, let's see if this, it's not, is it? Oh, gosh. Okay, so I put this on manual mode now. I have this filter thing over my, here. Essentially, it just directs the light so it doesn't spill everywhere. And I've realized that it's actually the anti what I need. So let's see how the light changes. A bit dusty. That's a big difference, isn't it? <sighs> and it makes it look less professional, which is what I'm going for. Okay, the deal was is that I just died and I was gonna make this uh, next, what's it called, the next uh, thumbnail, just take the photo. I find that I'm... <laughs> All right, while I go down quickly, <laughs> I find that I quite often will put something off till the next day telling myself that like I don't need to do it right now, I can wait till tomorrow. I should adjust this, shouldn't I? Oh gosh, no, I'm stopping right now and I'll change it back. And then when I die, I'll get this photo done and make this extra thumbnail. Get it done, get it out of the way. That's the way we should do it. Guys, it's bright. All right, I just died. I don't want to talk about it. He had the gun I liked as well, the Breacher. I think it's called the Breacher. Okay, I think I'm gonna put a party hat on and boost the lighting here. You're on the professional, the whatever it's called, get you down here. I think it's just gonna be like, shirt off though. Yeah. Doing. Um, oh, not recording. On video, come on. I might look into the side. I want to be looking here, don't I? Cool. Quick edit. Uh, I need this one plugged in. Oh, we're loading back in. Okay. In between plays, let's, or uh, well, not even dive into the right place. Dive to here. Um, get the photo in. I made a face in there I've never made before. Again, freaking not happening. All right. Do I get the images in? Screen record again. Let's go all the way up to the top and then bring in these three. Just hit done, done, done. I'll just go through one by one, see which one we think looks best. Like that one, I think has the most emotion. That one's like displeased, which I guess is actually what I'm going for. So I like that one. That one's, yeah, kind of showing that it's awkward. That one looks annoyed. I think we go for this one and this one. Select subject. You should do a pretty good job of this. Yep. Okay. Hide select subject. Done. Now we see how they look over the top of here. That one color would need to be slightly different, but if I'm like here. With a disco ball. Yeah, one of those two. Like that, 
then I don't know. I should move that hand down, shouldn't I? Hanging. Dishko, dishko. I have to make a shorter word for that last one. I might have to go and get one. Let's do photorealistic high detail silver hanging disco ball. Let's see how you do for me there, then, pet. Why have you got two? Single, single silver hanging disco ball. Oh, annoying. Taking the text layer into account too, which I don't want it to. What are you doing? What are those? And then maybe I'll see if I can do a whole generative AI across it, which is like a make it a disco. I'm interested. Let's try it. Photorealistic, high detail, give this a disco feel. Not really sure where that's gonna go, but let's see. And I'm just messing about with this one now. See if I know, oh my bloody hell. Where's that, where? Okay, well. That's not it. Okay, cool. So I've got the photo in. Now I just need to finagle. Probably need to go get a disco ball. Or find a picture and then bring it in. Yeah. Cool. All right, that and the needle mat. Peekaboo. Sorry. <laughs>